Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Live TV. Today, we're joined by Mr. Geert Kirsten, CEO of Cell Corp, which trades on the NYSE market under ticker CVM. Good morning, Geert. Thanks for being on our show. Thank you, Mike, for having me. To start off, what does Cell Side do? We're about the immune system. Think of the people who have died, who you know who have died of cancer. They always get surgery, radiation, and chemo. And you must make it personal because that's the only way it becomes truly relevant. Were those effective treatments? Didn't you think that something should be done to boost the immune system? Well, that's been our original idea. Yet we've taken it a step further, and we think that's the next logical step for, the, for cancer immunotherapy, which, by the way, now is the hot area. Everybody else other than us treats the cancer patients the conventional drug development way after they fail surgery, radiation, and chemo. But think about it. What does their immune system look like at that point? Okay. It's gone. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, how, how much of a chance do you have of helping the greatest number of people at that time? Shouldn't you boost their immune system before radiation and chemo? That is what we're doing. What is so unique about it is it's never, ever been done. It sounds crazy, but it's never been done because there's such a short window. You're not allowed to delay the surgery, radiation, chemo, and most drugs don't fit in. It's a longer process. But if you achieve it, think about it. Our study could potentially result in us being standard of care, first treatment for 6% of the cancer patients and save countless lives. And that is why we have persisted with this and we are coming up to the end. Next, I'd like to talk about some highlights from your recent letter to shareholders. First, tell us about the progress on your phase three head and neck cancer trial. Oh, it's been wonderful. Two years ago, but no, blue, almost three years ago, we had to fire the people running the phase three study because they were caught up in a roll up with other companies, private equity stuff, and the expertise walked out and basically the market gave up on us. And there's been a complete turnaround. We, at the time we fired the old group running the phase three study, we were enrolling maybe one patient a month. We are now enrolling more than one a day. We're hearing nothing but good things. So we're very, very happy with the way things are going. We're trying to make it even better, but it's going forward very, very nicely. Um, there's another way that people can tell that it's going well. The people who came in to run the phase three study, they invested $10 million in our study, and they will get that money back only from a successful drug. In October, they added another $2 million. They're small firms, so $2 million is real money. And they're the people who see what's going on in the study. So we have strong enrollment. That tells you that the doctors must think that there's benefit and increasing enrollment with it. Then you have the people who are running the study and see everything on a daily basis putting more money in. So that's going very nicely. That is probably the biggest event in the company. If this is the only thing that ever happens, we are talking potentially multi-billion dollar drug because it would be first treatment for 6% of the world's cancer population. It's very sizable, okay? Uh, all in one study. The, as also coming from the screw up what the company I've used to run the phase three studies. I'm a lawyer by training, by the way, but I don't sue people. But the, these people, their performance was so dismal, we went into arbitration against them. And as is typical with big companies, they tried to grind the little guy down. And so we sought the help of a litigation funding firm. Most people don't even know that exists. It's a new concept. These people have come in in October. They funded us with $5 million. And listen to this. They only get their money back from the proceeds of the arbitration. I don't know any New York fund that gives you $5 million without doing significant due diligence. Mm -hmm. So I think we've set up everything to show the investors that things are going well and that this year could be our year. And speaking of 2016, what is your focus this year and where do you see the company uh, at the end of this year? The main focus is on the phase three clinical trial, right? You have to enroll a certain number of people. and But basically the main thing here is you need a certain number of people to die. That sounds horrible. It's called events in our business. 
And then you can see if you have a 10% improvement in overall survival, because that is what the FDA wants to see. Overall survival is the gold standard. So if you have that, you should get a rapid approval. That's the number one. The second thing is the arbitration has been going on for over two years. We expect the, the trial, it's called a hearing, to start um, still in the first half of this year. And uh, it will get very, very interesting because we're talking $50 million direct damages, over $100 million consequential damages. And our current market capitalization is about $50 million. So it's, it's crazy, but we believe we have a strong case. So clearly, while I'm not in the business of lawsuits, this is very important to the company and obviously also its shareholders. And then we have a smaller project going on with the U.S. Navy where we're developing the products uh, that we have in phase three multi-kind. We're developing that also for HIV infected people who have HPV related diseases, human papilloma virus. And um, your stock has pulled back since early last year and some would say it's currently undervalued. Do you agree? And if so, can you tell us um, why it's undervalued? Biotech, people love biotech because nowhere can you make money as quickly. Um, you're either on the radar screen and everybody loves you, or you've fallen off the radar screen and you don't exist anymore. So it is an inefficient market. I've continued to buy the stock. I cannot explain the current valuation other than we have fallen off the radar screen. No one sees the progress we've been making. But there's so much money to be made from being right in business. Sooner or later, people will figure out that if you go from one patient a month approximately to more than one patient a day, there's good stuff happening. If you win a major arbitration, David Goliath, you're gonna end up in the newspaper. But it's all of these things I think are going to come to the forefront this year. And I believe when it happens, it will not be a dimmer switch. It will be like turning on that light switch on a completely dark room and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And Garrett, that's all the questions we had for today. Anything else you want to share with investors before we close? It, it has to be personal. Everything has to be personal. If you're willing, if, if you must have the strength to go through whatever is thrown at you. Um, that's what biotech is about. So we want to help increase the chances of a case cancer patient being treated successfully with the first treatment. Think of all the people you know who've died of cancer. They generally get surgery, radiation, and chemo, right? And then you wait. If it doesn't come back, it's great. If it comes back, it's generally big trouble. We want to increase the patient's chance of the tumor not coming back. And it's a big struggle, but at the same time, we're almost at the end of the phase three, the final study. Garrett, thank you. That uh, It's a very interesting story, one we um, can't wait to share with our investors. We'll be following it closely and uh, hopefully maybe follow up with you later this year and, and see th how things are progressing. But uh, so far, it looks great. Thanks again for your time. Thanks so much for being on our show. Thank you, Mike. Much appreciated. We've been watching, uh, you've been watching CEO Live TV, and we've been talking to Mr. Geert Kirsten, CEO of Cell Corp, which trades on the NYSE market under ticker CVM. If you want to learn more about them, please visit their website at www.cell-sci.com. Thanks for watching CEO Live TV.